gapping plugs or spark plug gapping we'll talk about why it's done the purpose of it and of course the function all the good stuff even the tools the what you should have what you shouldn't have and what works near perfectly over time so yep we're going to talk about that and of course the purpose and the results like this and of course it does a good job and of course if the engine is efficient enough it's going to give you good results just like our fully built engines get 14.5 kilometers to a liter that's 20, 34 miles per gallon and this runs 12 seconds doing that so yep we're going to test it even slow it down like this to show you how it functions or how the spark jumps the gap yes and of course we're gonna go with even high rpm here up to 6000 rpm so yep you know definitely this one is for you let's go all right first thing here's our new facebook page or the shop page because my personal Facebook got hacked and I lost control of the old page. I had to make a new one. We got the prices here for head porting, even the engine build labor, even cam degrees and tuning. So everything that you get to check is the, over there. And of course, we constantly update it with shop work that we do. We post there. That's a lot of times that don't make the video. We always go to post it there. And of course, all the comments there, I answered them myself because I handled the page. So if you have any questions take it there or of course on the video here and yet if you don't have facebook we have instagram we it's also active it's about my but the shop and here i post up even the manifold and all the good stuff so you can send me a dm there link will be in the description below for both so here the spark plug gapping tools all right let's let me clip the phone here okay this one is the cheapest one it's the most common one and ideally this is like not the best because as ev every time you check the gap you actually might scrape the electrode or the, the or, or the tip so it you know it might change the condition because any small scratch from the electrode or the tip actually changes the spark quality so here it is so it's around 40 over here let's check this used spark plug gap here, see, it's about 40 plus, 0 0.045 or something. So, yep, because it's a used plug, so it's kind of loose and, you know, it's been running like that. And a lot of people don't really check. They just, you know, bolt on the new plug. You can scratch that if you use this kind of coin tool. So, the next one is a wire wire base or wire, wire style gauge. This is actually pretty good. And it's actually pretty decent because here it's 0.035, 30, 30 to 25. So you have the different thickness, 45 here, 35 and 40 in the middle. So because this is kind of like a filler gauge, you just pass it through. And if it has enough clearance, it will just pass through like this. See? So it doesn't really, you know, damage the electrode or the strap or the tip. So it's pretty good. But the good thing here is this part. If you need more space to, to increase the gap, you can clip it like that, or also from the front, so it, it won't damage the tip or even the base. So that's really good. This this tool is really, really good in my book. That's really important, or actually it's, more, it's a lot better than the first one that we showed, but ultimately the best one is the feeler gauge because obviously we've used it in a lot of different things like even tappets and all that so we know it's accurate here 20 and 21 so that's total of 0 0.041 gap let's check on that there you go so that's about 0 0.041 or a shade more so yep that's the best one to use but of course this one wait let's put this on the side here all right yep this one this one i know i've heard some say it's available in amazon so you guys can check there here this one is really good because once you get the gap spaced out using the tool in the middle the wire wheel tool right now sorry about that i had to sneeze to be able to you know close up the gap Instead of tapping the tip, you might crack the porcelain on the base on the inside. 
this is a lot better it has no stress no shock load you know you don't have to tap anything you can tighten there and it closes the gap of course double check it with the wire gauge here or the filler gauge and you can see it's gonna get the space that you need this is like such such a good tool all right and of course wait let me let me prepare this let's have it prepare the right gap wait, where is it let me check here we need 20 and a 21 0 0.020 and 0 0.021 this way will total to 0 0.041 gap All right because usually we set the every every single stock engine that we do we always go for 0 0.041 because that's been safe for us and of course a little that gap it gives about a good efficiency instead of like a too tight one for mostly stock and mild performance All right let's put set this aside here okay now let's unbox this brand new ngkbkr6 spark plugs we got just, just for you guys well of course everyone you we always have a spare here that's new because it's always getting used when the car he comes in for maintenance we have spark plugs ready the other thing uh, that's worth mentioning is, as you notice, most plugs are, uh, they always have to have that cardboard there like this because it protects the, the gap, the tip. Because most of the spark, spark plugs comes pre-gapped. So without that cardboard and it's boxed in, so it, during storage, it might just, you know, keep pounding and it's like, it'll make the gap small or, you know, inconsistent, right? All right, here we go. Let's check all of it. Let's check this one first. Let's start here. Now it's okay to use this just once, you know, the, the not regular use it to screen the electro electrode. Oh, did you look at that? That's a little tight, 0 0.030. That's interesting. Let's see there. It doesn't fit. 0 0.035 don't fit. Okay, now here 0 0.030. Oh wait, 0 0.025. Sorry. Oh, it fits. Oh, this is a little too tight. That's odd. And it's brand new. That that my friend is why double checking your spark plug gap, even if you're running new spark plugs, is actually a lot better. Whenever you change spark plugs, double check the gap, it won't hurt. But the benefits are also exponentially better, or a lot, you know, so it's worth it. Now we check all of it. Now look, it's interesting because there's 0 0.035 and the rest is 0 0.030. So even 0 0.035 is a little too tight for, for me in my book for mostly stock engines or my performance. All right, but now let's check the used NGK versus the brand new one here in the test. Here's the used one. All right, let's clip it good there. Here's the brand new one. Kick. Oh, there you go. All right. Now cover. Let's put the cover on. So for safety, of course, get the phone closer. All right. Okay, we can barely see. We have to turn off the lights. All right. Again, again. Okay, here we are now with the lights off. Oh, there you go. You can see. You can see on the right, the spark is a lot stronger. Well, you know, it looks stronger compared to the one on the left. And that's, you know, we haven't even double checked the gap or like, you know, pre-gapped it. It's, it's, already, it's, it's, it's already too tight. So anything wider, that's going to be doing a lot better, right? Here it is at around 6,000 RPM. Slow it down. Here you can see when you slow it down with the slow motion here, notice an idle. The one on the left is like, you know, it's misfiring every once in a while. You can't really feel that on the engine, but that's really not good, especially for fuel consumption. So, yep. And now here, let's go back, open up the lights. Here, we opened it up with using this tool. And then now we're going to tighten the gap according to the filler gauge. You go all right yes so it's a lot safer and because this is 20 and 21 so it's 0 0.041 gap 
There you go. Look. We tightened it now good. See, it's perfect. It goes in perfect right there, right? So we did this to all four. So now it's all good, right? Okay. Now we we'll press it there like that. So it's gently. All right, now let's remove this. Since all four plugs are gap 0 0.041, so they're, you know, going to be more consistent, right? Okay. So now let's test this on here, right? Okay, let's go. Okay, here we are. All right. Let's remove this so, so the background is not white, so we can see it better. Yes. Okay, now they're about all equal, all pretty good. All right. Yeah. Now the other two. Here it is. Okay. Now it looks pretty much the same in all four so that we know that's going to be really consistent and it'll give us good performance or at least efficiency on the engine so that'll be so good so yep so this one here you gotta avoid that but this is pretty good of course the filler gauge we have but this is really important because you can close up the gap without tapping the spark plug without breaking the porcelain or anything so that's pretty good here the reason why you open it up is so that you know the ele the electron travel farther the farther it travels the more exposure you have on the air and fuel mix this is going to be good for combustion but of course the more gap you run the more stress the coil gets even the igniter so you gotta set it up properly and not too much so there's a specific amount all right so now if you're still watching that means you're hardcore we got the members only section you can join the members and you have the gold good videos here gold member and top member have the dyno and tuning and even the engine building tricks the silver member is just for the introduction so you got to check that yes but of course you can also click here for a little more good stuff